Hello people, this is my journey through random level design. Bam, 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 bam. So, here's how I made my random level generator. Um, I made four versions of it. The most successful one was the third version. And I'm going to show you the code for the first, second, then fourth version and the logic for it. I'm going to start with the first version. So the first version, the idea behind it was, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let me put the game objects in, let me clone them, see what happens. That's basically the idea of the first version. Um, it was the one of the worst out of the bunch. Um, yeah, that was the first version. So now I I decided to start a new level generation version, and I simplified it. I simplified the variables, so I didn't have all these huge long script and stuff, and then. I add a direction, which up, down, left, right, actually forward and back, but this is the left way, I would randomize it, randomize the room type basically, if it was first, it would go straight, second, left or right, that would be randomized by direction, it would be left, it would be right, and then it would be a fork, which is a path going in two different directions. Then I had a quad, which is three different directions, but that didn't really work out. So, go love generation. I'm going to uncheck. Yeah, you can't clone it or anything. Yeah, it's not really good script. This is V2, and I have once. So, I can debug and solve the problems better. My fork, just a fork, just, just like you want. And now, so does its thing, but yeah, this goes around randomly. Kind of works, but the forks, like when I was starting this project, the fork room just now like disappeared, you know. So, I think this is, this is the square one for the V4 one, so I'm just going to put that in there. We'll try it again. Now, you will see the problem with this pretty quickly. I don't understand why I decided to do a V3. See that? It's just, just going all over the place. You know, doesn't know where to go overlaps and such, just before it's just collapse, you know. Then, one day, I had this astonishing idea. So, the game object, right? So, my idea was this. I would rotate it, so if it was 90, was, so my theory was that if I only controlled it, using the x-axis, and just rotated it, so go, put x-axis up and down, so you have to use the uh, z-axis for it, so that was a little bit complicated, but it worked out better than the v2. Now, here's my code for it, my v3, most successful one out of all of them. I have it's a lot more developed, so there's a go all that. That's a different problem I came into. I'll talk about that later. So generate level. Now same thing. I would randomize the room type, and then I would stanch it, and then here's the smooth function. I'll go down here now. Here's the thing, if it doesn't rotate, it'll be false, so I'll have to change the rotation 
whatsoever. Um, but V2, you can't do that if you calculate it all. And now that would be efficient. So that's what I did. Um, and direction. So I would divide the rotation along the Y. Then that's my direction. And then it would be number. And then just go number Z, number X. Go along here. So that's the V3. Um, I ran into a problem, which was. So, let me show you. This forks. Fork. This Actually, no, that's V2. This is V3. So it's missing the fork because now I'm fucking watching which now I ran into. Now is why so I so for the I got the forks working and then I just need to instantiate the other way. Now this whacked my brain so hard it was giving me a heck. So but I learned that there's something called look at earlier angles which would be this number right here. Now transform that rotation dot y. That's totally different apparently. So and then now yeah, this is a float. When I divide the direction, that's gonna be the exact value. So I have two int and then I just did this, it'll be two int, so I put this rotation in, which would calculate the direction and all that because this thing would be so whacked if that was a float. You know, divide it by 90 degrees for the direction. This worked, but there were some glitches. So over here, I have my character. Like that. Like, there were some glitches and some wall things, like right here. Right here, I can't, I can't go any forward. Now that, that is what made me say, okay, I'm up here in this project. I'm not fixing it. I don't have to fix it. And then these box colliders here would see if there was a room next to it, so it wouldn't just, you know, overlap. That's what I was trying to prevent. That didn't work out either, really. So I would generate, and then now. The limit's 10 rooms, it's 10 rooms, and then it would just generate on its own. And all that. And yeah, and then those things will create forks, and it'll be a ending loop. So that was V3. The V4. I had another astonishing idea one day. You know, I was like, why can't you clone a room with a cube in it? That cube would instantiate a room in front of it. That would have another cube. That cube would destroy itself. And then that cube would instantiate and all that stuff. So this is why there's a cube here. So you would instantiate this. And then this would instantiate something like that. I'm going to get straight in here. Which would basically snap to it because it's cloning there. And then those two would destroy each other because those have box collides on it. If they collide, they destroy themselves. And this would clone in another one. And another one. And then that would happen. Now, if you try this in play mode, it's a totally different story. Let me get here. So, if I just put in a fork here, I'm going to put it right here. Now, this thing doesn't have a script, so I'm going to put the script on it. This might be four. Oh yeah, you have to plug in all these values. That's how I got the corruption glitch. And I had to do everything, that's why I have backups. I'm going to do the straight instead, actually, because that... Yeah, they, they don't have the script anymore. 
actually the corners have a script, but attempt. Which I just said, okay, I'll, okay, I just clone something. I'll clone all the way over there. That 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 was my problem. It would clone some random place instead of the position, and it was so frustrating. So, so that's that's why I dropped it. It wasn't super good, you know. I might go back on this in the future, but I'm kind of like done with this. I don't want to do it anymore, anything like that. So that was that was. Not fun, but it's fun creating it. I learned a lot from this. So, yeah. So, this was my first YouTube video. Sorry for the uh, cricket action, if there was any. Um, I'll, I'll look at better at editing and doing all this YouTube stuff as I create more YouTube videos, so don't judge me on this, okay? So, yeah, this is for my journey through random level generation. Wonder what's going to be next, huh?